In the same way that Mac introduced us to personal computing, Apple Vision Pro will introduce us to spatial computing. This isn't something that's paired to your iPhone or your Mac by default. It's a standalone computer with an M2 chip inside, its own Wi-Fi connection, and then a dedicated new R1 chip, which is doing all of the real-time processing from all the sensors that make this headset pretty special. There are no controllers at all. You are controlling this thing entirely with your hands and your eyes and your voice. Basically all over the headset, there are an absolute ton of sensors. You have two main forward-facing cameras, two downward-facing cameras, two more cameras for the sides, two infrared illuminators, a LiDAR scanner, a true depth camera. These are all to keep track of what's happening around the headset and also to track your hands in front of your face. And then on the inside, there's also a bunch of infrared illuminators and infrared cameras that are purely there, just there to track your eyes. And there's some nice meshing on the back, some fabric that stretches and is pretty breathable. The most impressive thing about this headset, the most impressive thing, is the eye tracking. Anytime you move your eyes around the UI, it would immediately highlight and select exactly what you're looking at, no matter how small the target was or what you're looking at. And then when you wanna select something, all you do is take your fingers like this and just touch them together. That's how you click. So you look at something, click. So like I said, there's sensors all the way around the thing. They're facing forward, but they're facing sideways and facing down. So I can just kind of rest my hand like wherever and look at stuff and click. I don't even have to move my head. I can just look at something and just click my fingers. I kind of did it by accident a few times, but pretty quickly you get used to just just this, just, just doing this. Now there are also some text boxes. Occasionally you want to type something and so you can look at the text box select it and then a keyboard will pop up and you can look at the letters, but also you can just look at a search box field and just start talking and it'll start filling in whatever you're saying because there's microphones on the headset. 